It's amazing how fast the earth swings around the sun these days. And then who oh, just said good morning and before you know it, we are ready to say good night. My Lord, we are growing old slowly. And it's a good thing we can sit idle and watch the days go by. This is how I want to grow old. Sitting idle, ruling my people, talking to my wife with a soft fingered housemaid like Miranda picking my grey hairs. So, so gently. Miranda, you are gentle. Thank you, my love. Miranda, someday you'll be taking care of your children. Uh, tell me, Miranda, would you love to have uh, plenty of children or would you love to have one just like Lolo and me? I love children, my lord, and I would like to have many female children and just one son. Ah, <laughs> good. Miranda, that will be enough for today. Go to the kitchen, wash the dishes, cook dinner. Afterwards, wash the clothes, scrub the floors, then you can eat and go to bed. Isn't that too much for the poor girl? All that in one night? My lord. Servants must be made to feel like servants in the work that they do, lest they forget their place and begin to dream like kings, queens, noble men and women like us. Lolo, it is good to dream, for in dreaming we become, yes, the poor dream of riches and they work hard and they become rich. The sick dream of health and the work hard towards good health. Yes, they are not dream of love and they make themselves comely and lovable and find someone to love them. Oh. My lord, noble men dream of servants. They get servants and keep them servants forever. That is why today you have a maid to pick your gray hair. Otherwise, if all servants are to become noble men, who will stand here attending to you, picking your gray hair in your old age? Where have you been? I... 
was talking with Miranda, I couldn't help going to give her at least one good word, considering how she had been serving us faithfully for these many years. And what did you tell her? Nothing, really. I was just uh, advising her to work harder and uh, take enough rest when it is necessary. You are kind, my dear. You are praising God for when you praise me for my good nature. You are praising he who gave me life and that nature. Let us sleep now, my husband. I think so, my dear. May your sleep be peaceful, my lawyer. And may you dream of calm rivers and beautiful sunsets. Thank you, my dear. I agree. for you in my father's house. Yes, I realize that. But should you decide to punish me for not loving you, I will take the punishment. Still, I will not love you. Is there someone that you love? I'm only a simple house servant. Love is for the rich. Comfortable and the noble. My simple heart is too poor to feel the great emotion called love. So you do not love anybody? I do not have the privilege to love. Do you at least believe in love? I don't know what I believe in. But I know that you do not love me. All you see is a soft and ripe body for you to rip and ravish. That's all. Not so. Good, good, good. 
Good. Well done, Melinda. Thank you, my daughter. that? Uh, I was a driver. He brought my clothes for the day. No. I mean, who were you talking with? Oh, okay. Miranda. Uh, she was cleaning up the living room. I see. You seem to enjoy talking. A lot with Miranda these days. Yes. Oh, uh, isn't that her sweet girl? I wish we had a daughter like Miranda. If the Igwe had put a daughter in my womb, I would have given you a daughter. You speak in pain. Yes. That's because the Igwe has hurt my feelings this morning with his tongue. Oh, my dear. I apologize. Okay. Esther. Did you hear me? Yes, Joel. I heard you. What is this? Come on, hold it! Hold it! On the floor. What is this? <laughs> hold it! Now, hands forth. What is this? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. that you will wear are these big, long, and shapeless ones. You will no longer wear makeup, and you will no longer wear earrings. You will only speak when spoken to, and your response will only be, yes, my lady, or my lord, and no, my lord, or lady. And you will never again smile at the Igwe, even when he smiles at you. Finally, you will never again pick the Igwe's gray hairs. Don't you ever pick my husband's gray hairs again. That's my lady. If you dare, 
disobey me, you will leave this palace in disgrace. Miranda! Uh, Joseph! Sir. Call me Miranda there. Okay. Ah. Miranda! Good evening, my lord. Good evening, my lady. You sent for me, my lord. Yes. Come and pick my grey hairs. Miranda. Tell me for heaven's sake, what have you done to the poor innocent girl that she's so afraid of you? What have you done to her that you don't want to tell me? Igwe, I am the lady of this house. I take decisions in the best interest of this household. That is that. But that doesn't mean that you should, you should begin to terrorize that poor girl. For goodness sake, why do you defend this, this Miranda of a girl as if she's the daughter of one great Igwe? She is a pauper, for goodness sake. I did not spend 30 years of my life as a lecturer, 10 of them as a professor, gathering knowledge upon knowledge to come back home and accept to become the way and begin to oppress people of less circumstance. No, I will not do it. Then, strangle me, Igwe. Strangle me right now, because I have done what I have done. And I will not tell you. And she dares not step beyond her bounds in this house. Why are you terrified? Huh? Listen, a little fear is good for a servant because it brings respect. Yes, but this is not fear anymore. This is terror. Why are you terrified in the presence of my wife? Why? If I tell you, she will kill me. She will not kill you. I'm here. Come. Come and sit by me. Come. Come and sit down. Come. What is it? My lady. My lady came to my room. I Did what? Tell me, talk to me. She won't know the pain of disgrace. That she not speak to you. Smile at you or pick your grey hair. 
she destroyed all my good clothes and want me to wear only long because she plays that like this one. It's all right. Stop crying. Stop crying. Finished cleaning his study and stand there. Check him in the courtyard. If he's there, you come and tell me. Okay. Let me ask you Have you in any way disrespected her or have you been disobedient? No, my lord. What did she say is your offense? She did not say I was disobedient to her. She hit me. That's all she hit me. My wife does not hate you. You understand? She does not hate you. I don't want you to talk like that. Okay? Stop crying, my dear. Stop crying, okay? Stop crying, okay? Okay, okay calm down. Stop crying. Okay? and humble servant. I've only come here to serve and not to cause trouble between my lady and her husband. Who do you think you are? Miranda? Who exactly do you think that you are? Are you better than a dirty pig? Are you not a child from the gutter? Sewage from the slum? Please, my lady, forgive me. Get out of my sight. Out of my sight now before I hit you. Hit you now. Touch me again, I will scream. I will scream at the top of my voice.
Joseph. Joseph. Sir. You call me my parents. Where are my parents? Uh, the we went to keep an appointment with the local government chairman. We went with uh, Slob. I see. And where is the maid servant, Miranda? She's in the kitchen cooking, sir. You will summon her before me now. You stay in the kitchen and finish up the cooking. Yes, sir. But, uh, sir, I'm supposed to take the you guys of Shaka to the mechanic. You will do exactly as I say. Send for me, my prince. Miranda, you will kneel down there and put your hands above your head. What's my offense, my prince? Pick up that stool. I said, pick up that stool. down there, put your hands above your head, carrying that stool. Do you question my authority to punish you in this house where I am the only son, and in this land where I am prince? Are those tears I see in your eyes, Miranda? I do not cry for you, my prince. I only cry for God to see my tears. Then let me remind you that it is that same God who ordained my birth in this house as the only son and prince and master over you. <laughs> to speak with you, Will. Eh? You have? Joseph, please, eh? I want you to help me pass this message for me to give with. Tell him that I wish to go back to my poor parents. No, wait, wait. What happened again? I cannot continue to serve in a house where I am hated so much by the queen and held in so much contact by the prince, eh? You want me to tell him this? Please tell him. So that I can leave tomorrow morning before the sun rises. Thank you. Okay. suddenly want to leave the service of my household just like that. Did she tell you why? No, she did not tell me, my lord. And you say she, she, she wants to leave tomorrow? That's what she said. <sighs> Yourself, my lord, please, talk to her. Make her talk to me. 
if a servant wants to leave my employer, I really wish to know why. My lord, I've already talked to her, but she has refused saying anything concerning it. It's okay. Let's drive on, let's go. Okay? Prince has been forcing me, my lord. He tries to force himself into my bed, my lord. How long has this been going on? It has been going on long, my lord. This is one of the reasons you wish to leave, not so? So, my lord. You are not to go. I will protect you. Lock your door. Sleep now. Stop crying. May the Lord bless the kind-hearted as you. Before I accepted to be the Igwe, I was a university professor. And now that I'm Igwe, I'm not excited by the royal status, but nobody has ever kissed my feet before. Your audacity to lie to me? 
Didn't I tell you never to wear this kind of clothes in my house oh. again? Oh. oh, so you think that you can be transformed into a thing of beauty overnight, eh? Shapeless thing. You look like a scarecrow. Sorry, my lady. Wait. Wait. Now, get out of my sight. Hmm? You will go outside. You will stay under the sun until the sun goes down. Okay? And let me see the, why are you wear this kind of clothes in my house again. Stay under the sun until the sun goes down. Choco carry guele, ienu we se kakwa. Choco kero di bole, yo wa choka ugorole kambebe. Tupu ganu rolu mo ugorole kanga kwa. Tupu geisha manya o au awalite. Soup okay, for us okay, and put in a lot of spices. You go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, my son. Let's go in and wait our pepper soup. Okay. Kofu chuku kerezi ne ni kero di bono sa mbombo nobi. Ah, doki sawa ne mo ojo ko ibo. You know, I went to the inner village and the Lord showed me. You know, as encouraged me to look closer to them and get involved in all their activities from now on. My lord, but that is a very good thing. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> my lord, you see that? Mom, all the maidens were smiling at me and trying to win my attention. Yes. I wonder what uh, makes them think the prince is ready to take a wife. No. <laughs> Talking about wives, boys. Have you seen anyone who takes your fancy? Mom, when I do find a wife, you will be the first to know. Even though I think I have seen her, but she has not seen me. Yes. The moment she sees me, I will bring her so that you will see her also. That will be a day of joy, my son. You <laughs> <laughs> What about our meal? Is he ready now? Ibu is about Miranda. What about Miranda? Ibu, I found her lying asleep in a corner at the back of the house. And when I woke her up, she was barely able to stand on her feet. She's running temperature. And shivering from head to toe, sir. That's very unusual. Let's go and see her. 
Igwe. You are an Igwe, my lord. Whether a modern Igwe or not, you should not be seen fellowshipping with servants. Joseph. My lady. Let's go and see her. It is not Igwe's duty to attend to sick servants. That's my lady. Igwe. Oh, is this a way to arouse the ego's pity? Hmm? Were you not the pig I slapped this morning? When did you fall sick? Hmm? Now get up. Get up. Go to your room. And take your bath. Afterwards, you take a painkiller and sleep. By nightfall, you will be well enough to continue your work. Splendid. And this is your last warning. Don't you ever let me see you wear this stupid nightgown again. to the kitchen and slapped me. She pushed me out to stay in the sun. She said the nightgown that I was wearing was too good for a housemaid like me. She said I was ugly. Ugly as a scarecrow. My wife hates you. Yes, my lord. The more she hates you, the more she makes me pity you. And the more I pity you, the more I want to protect you. And the more I feel tenderness in my soul. Soft feelings. Deeper. Than a kiss. Yet, evoking a kiss. Please, my lord, do not kiss me again, or such feelings will kill me. For your kisses do much honor to she that deserves no honor. A common servant like me. No. Don't talk like that. Mirinda. I'm an old man. But you have brought the young man out of me. Thank you. 
Miranda! 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 Miranda, are you okay? No, I'm not alright. What's the problem? I think I'm, I'm pregnant. Eh? But I think you said you're still a virgin. No, I'm not anymore. Hey, what happened? Yourself. Please, can I trust you? Yes, 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 yes. Please, find time to whisper my condition to our master, Igwe. Igwe Jua. No, wait. You mean, wait, no, wait. Are you trying, are you, no, are you saying? Joseph, just tell him in secret. Please. Hey. Randa. I will summon all the members of my family. I will summon the chiefs, the Nzeis and the others, and announce to them that I wish to take a second wife. And if they ask me the name of the wife, I shall tell them that my new wife is Miranda. My lady will kill me. She will spend her means to see that I die. Can I, a common maid servant who she calls a pig, and sewage of the gutters, turn around to be her co wife? I'm dead already. She will kill me. I will protect you because I have loved you in my old age. The love of the aged is as faithful as the sunrise, as strong and unchangeable. That's death. Please, my lord. Do not tell them that I'm pregnant yet. What do you, you, ma you marry me? I too. I've grown to love the good, kind and humble man in you. Come, my dear. Come. Sit down with me. Don't worry. You will be fine. Our child will be born. You understand? 
yes, a child of my old age. And he will be my second child. I will love him with a love that finds expression in every breath that I take. Yes, every step that I take and every speech that I make. What about Maurice? He too will hate me. You know he has always wanted me. How will I cope with the hatred of my lady and the prince? I'm dead. No, you're not dead, my dear Alison. loves you and so you are protected hmm? Hmm? I fear for myself I fear for my unborn child it's all right have no fear you are fully protected I welcome you all my chiefs I thank you very much for honoring my invitation to come to my house. I call you here for no other reason. To announce to my immediate family in your presence that the new treatment being meted out to the maid servant Miranda by my wife shall no longer be condoned by me as the Igwe of this town. Being myself. Yes, that as the way of this town, I frown at injustice even when it is being done within my family. Igwe. I also call you to announce to all of you that the maid servant Miranda shall no longer be found in my house because she has found favor in my heart. And I, the way of this town, has chosen to marry Miranda as my second wife. What? I do not fit to tell you this and deal honorably with the issue rather than start a clandestine affair with the girl in question and dishonor my name as the Igwe of this town, the girl or my family name. My lord, why have you done this thing? Have we grown so far apart that you couldn't discuss this thing with me in the privacy of our bedroom? The secrecy of a bedroom that we've shared for over 30 years? It will not happen, Father. Not <laughs> while I am still prince of this land. My son, take it easy. It is the Igwe's prerogative to marry a second wife, even a third and a fourth wife, as he pleases. Not in this house. <laughs> Calm down, my son, Prince. All over the world, the king's family is always a very big one. Yes. yes. We have even been worried about the U.S. small and uh, nuclear family. I thought well, this is a very well-known development. I am praying, and I say it is unacceptable to me. I am Igwe, and I rule according to the culture of our people. Yes, I will rule as I please, as long as I do not violate the culture of my people. Sit down, Morris. Someone, the young lady. Young lady, indeed. You will bring Miranda. Yes, my lord. My lord. Yes, my lady. When you do marry this maid servant, where will she live? And what will she be to me? My lady, 
When I do marry Miranda, she will live in this house with us. She will live in our own quarters, and she will be your co-wife. Igwe! Oh. I see. My lord, Miranda is nowhere to be found. I searched the room and the compound. I can't find her. Um, some of her clothes have disappeared from her room. <laughs> you see, servants will always be servants. The little hen has run away. She must be found. Get men and search all the neighboring towns and villages. I want my bride brought back here. Do you understand me? Yes, she must be found. And anybody who finds Miranda will be given a reward. Even this uh, Miranda, where is she from? Miranda is from the River Rhine area. She was given to me when she was 10 years old. Yes, she's uh, an orphan. And she will be in danger traveling on the road all alone. She shall be found, Your Highness. <clears throat> Igwe, have no fear. Young men are bound in the village where I serve you as insect. I will send them out. She will be found. Uh, you too, Joseph. Go out and take one or two young men from the village. Search for her in the neighboring town, the Mutu Park, and other important places. Go! Thank you, Just go straight on this road, eh? Yeah. Straight to where? Go down, 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 eh? Until we get out of this town, then stop at the nearest home settlement. At around then, uh... eh? Okay, no problem. No problem.
that your father has sent out people to search for Miranda? Mom, if, if the girl has decided to run away, that's good riddance to bad rubbish. Maurice, what if she is found? Have you considered what will happen if she is found? Listen to me, my son. Miranda has run away out of fear and uncertainty over what our reactions will be to your father's decision. If and when she is found, what Joel will do is to reassure her of his protection and that of his chiefs. Then he will go ahead and marry her family. Morris, your father is not too old yet. So naturally, she will get pregnant. And if she's lucky, she'll have a baby boy. That means that your inheritance will be shared into two. That's impossible. This is not the time for you to scream impossible. This is the time for you to get up and go out there and do something. You are a prince. So you must have people, boys, who are loyal to you in this land. Go out there, organize your own boys to go in search of her. When she is found, have her killed. That is your surest way to secure your inheritance.
Adjufo? Adjufo? Hey, my prince. Yeah. Prince, prince. Mm -hmm. How are you? Fine. Um, how is our age grade preparing for this year's Ecolobia dance? Um, the preparations are in high gear. That's what I was discussing with Joe and Iluma here. I see. Mm. Um, aside that, it seems you guys are very idle. The harvest is this over. What more is there to do than to wait for Christmas and Ecolobia dance? Okay, get in the car, I have a job for you. Okay. Yes. Um, you see, my mother's housemaid has run away. And we believe she's still somewhere in this village. I want you to keep your ears to the ground. You know? Gather some boys, find her for me. Keep the search very secret. If we find her, we'll bring her home. No, no, no. If you find her, you keep her somewhere. And then come and inform me. I'll personally take her back to her village. My prince, you must hate this girl. I hear your father wants to marry her. And she's even pregnant for him already. Who told you this? Joseph, the one that serves in the palace, told this young brother in the village. I see. Anyway, um, okay, here's some money, okay? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Find that girl for me, okay? Make sure it is secret. Thank you. Enjoy yourself, huh? Oh? Thank you, my mm -hmm. friends. <laughs> Joseph, the question you asked him before, in case he doesn't hear very well. Joseph, 
I heard from a reliable source in the village today that you told your younger brother that the maid servant Miranda is pregnant for my father. Is this true? Joseph, I take it that you've suddenly gone deaf and dumb. I will have you arrested by the police and put away for daring to drag my husband's name in the dust. Enough, Esther. Maurice, what is your grievance? My grievance is that a common servant like Joseph is spreading false tales about my honorable father. And if these tales are true, I am aggrieved that my father should stoop so low as to sleep with a common housemaid and in so doing dishonor his wife, the Lord, and his entire family. Just like you tried to dishonor the family all those nights you were sneaking to her room Is that what she told you when you were ravishing her? Enough of this, Esther. Joseph, leave us. Now listen to me. Miranda is carrying my baby. And she has run away because of your wickedness. The same wickedness of yours that made me get so close to her and started loving her. Yes. I am going to find her wherever she is and bring her back and marry her. You understand me? Because that baby will be born in my house. Since I'm married, mine wouldn't be good either. You know, Diana, it's just okay. The one I've been chasing since last year, Kuru Bedas, has promised to go home with me tomorrow night. And she's coming from the St. College. She does not want her father to know that she's in the village. So we are the way hide her. Let's leave her here. She is well tied. We shall go and inform the prince and show him where she is. Our job is done. 
agree with you. Let us go. Yes. Inside this room, sleeping. All right, um, tell Ajufo I'll see him at the village square. I think the place will come again today. Let's go. Go where? W would I get sleep tied to a tree in the bush? What about wild animals? If that is her fate, so be it. Or do you have a place to take her? No, no. It's just that I feel sorry for her. But if the Igwe prefer her to his wife, how is that an offense? My own view is that. She did not complain when she was sleeping with the Igwe. Let her also not complain. Now that she's to sleep with the wild animals in the bush. Let's go. Please, let's go. Okay. Sleep here tied like this. Follow me. Let us go. I will hide you. Okay? I will hide you. Follow me. Let's go.
high price. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ajifo, yes. I could not see you yesterday because my father had need of me. Okay. Were you able to find the girl? Yes, we found her. Yo, so where is she? Uh, still here with her up in the bush. Okay. Yes. Let's go then. Hmm? Okay. Hello. Hmm? Come, let's go. I think it's better we wait in that for. Uh, yes. Let me tell you, please. Okay. My priest. Yes. We better wait in that for. Ah. Yes. Ah, uh, well, it's almost nightfall. Okay. Okay, come in and take a ride with me. Come. Hello. Come, let's go. For her silence, both of you. You need to tell me that you found the girl and tied her up here, and overnight she grew wings and flew away. My prince, we tied her well and proper. So, why is she? I gave you money, I gave you my trust, and you stand here playing tricks on my mind. My prince, these are the ropes she was tied with. I see. What does it cost? What does it cost to tie a rope around a tree and lie? It is true, my prince. The game must have escaped somehow. You find that girl. Find her. That girl is carrying my father's baby. That child is born and it turns out to be a male. My inheritance will be shared in two. I will not accept that. So you find her. Find that girl and you have made the friend of the crown prince forever. Your reward shall know no bounds. Find her. We must go for her. Let us go. Let us search for her. has promised us a large amount of money to find you for him. Still, I will not betray you. You are carrying an innocent baby in your womb. So my wife is carrying us too. You know, I will not be happy at all. If any harm should befall my wife. So I'm in the position to pity you. Thank you, sir. You will live here with us. Whatever little we manage, you will manage with us. Since my own wife is pregnant, Nobody will be suspicious if they start seeing me buying things a pregnant woman uses. When the time of delivery comes, I will take you to a neighboring town where no one will recognize you. I will introduce you as my own wife. And when the baby is born, I will find a way to send word to you, great joy, 
that you and the baby are healthy. Do you understand me? Yes. No. Hmm? I thank you. I thank you for the milk of human kindness that flows in you. As you can see, the girl is pregnant. She's fragile. It is good we protect her from any danger. At least we allow her to have a baby. At least she will be strong before she goes back to the Igwe to face the phenomenon of Lolo. If my lady Lolo Esther sees me now, she will kill me. The way is a man. He has these duties to attend to. And he won't be there always to protect me. But I thank you. I thank you very much. And I know that the soul of my unborn baby thanks you too. I That's wish this you get well. Up, get up. Get up. Get up. And as you have shown me kindness, may you find kindness. As you have sheltered me, may the Lord shelter you. And as you have saved my life, may the Almighty Lord save your own life. Found her on the way to their land among the riverine people. She has not returned to her people. I sent word to them, and word returned to me from a very old man who is the only living relative that she has not returned. They are not even expecting her to return because she has no living relative except that old man who may die any time. Igwe, has she fallen into the hands of bad people? Igwe, look inwards. Query your wife and son. They hate that girl. They hate her. Yes. <clears throat> Meanwhile, we keep our ears to the ground. If we hear anything, mm -hmm. we we'll let you know. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Miranda carries my child. Huh? She carries a royal seed. And royal seeds must be planted not in the bush but in the cherished farmland of royalty. My child that Miranda is carrying must be born and raised amongst royalty where it belongs. Yes, I see you are sweating it out. How are the crops going? Oh, well, God has been good to them. So, how have you been? Uh, well, I've been, um, 
been very worried this past few months about Miranda's whereabouts. You know, she, she has just disappeared. And I fear very much that one of these days she will reappear with her baby, my half-brother, and come and threaten my inheritance. Uh, my prince, Ajufo and I have kept up the search for her. But to date, no trace of her has been found. Well, um, I just saw Ajufo at his workshop and he told me exactly the same thing. It's, um, it's really sad. <sighs> sad? No, 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 my prince. Sadness shortens our lives. Be happy. Huh? Um, we shall keep searching. And I believe we shall find her soon. Okay. Okay, then. Please, I, I will rely on you, too. Okay. Carry okay, on. Okay, Chris. No? All right, my All prince. Right.
excuse me. Uh, uh, move him. Go in. Yes. Miranda has given birth to a baby boy. Who told you this? The man himself. The man that took care of her. He said I should pass on the message to you. I pleaded that you should please wait in for before coming in order to protect him. son and this family will be adequately rewarded for choosing the path of honor. Yes. Mm. Hello, ma. Hello. You and your wife I will give the royal piece of land. Yes. Thank you, my lord. And I will build a befitting house for you there. Thank you, my lord. Yes. That is your reward for what you have done. Okay. I will take you back home, okay? And tomorrow, I shall present my son to the chiefs, yes, in Dinzinoza. Yes, let it be known throughout the land of Amasato that Igwe Joel Nagwini has a second son. Yes, you're welcome, friends. want to chat with your father. As I have told you, to conclude what I have said, I present to you my son and his mother, Miranda, yes, whom I am going to marry as my second wife. Please get up so that my household and uh, my chiefs will see you properly. Oh, yeah. My lord, with due respect, I do not wish to marry you. But I will stay and train the baby until he is two years. Then I shall hand the baby over to you and walk away. For I'm not fit to be an Igwe's wife or to share a husband with my lady. For I'm only a poor maid servant.
Lord. Yes, Lord, Lord. I have searched my heart deeply for an answer, but I have not been able to find one. So I have decided to ask you for an answer. Why, Joel? Why have you done this thing? Was I not good to you? Have I not been a good wife? Did I not stand by you all these years when you were just a lecturer till you were made a professor? Retired and returned to Nigeria and your people made you Igwe and I your Lolo. Where did I go wrong? What have I done wrong? that you would prefer a mere, a mere house girl to me, my house girl. So much so that you would even express your wish openly to marry her. What have I done? Let me simply state here that there's nothing physically wrong uh, that you have done to me personally. So, uh, I have no justification for what I have done. But I have watched you act in very wicked and evil ways towards other people, especially our servants, Joseph and uh, Miriam, watching you from afar, I began to see the stranger in you that I never knew all along. Yes, yes, a heartless and wicked woman. Yes, each day, each time, and with each act of wickedness from you, I began to despise you more and more. Yes, yes, and poor Miranda has been doing all her best to serve us with all her strength and all she gets uh, are curses, slaps and kicks. Honestly, my heart went out to her. Yes. I got close to her and I found a simple, innocent, poor, and, 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 and helpless and he took advantage of that. I fell in love with her and I'm proud to say it before any crowd that I'm in love with her. Now you have heard what you want to hear. You've got the answer you want.
Good morning, my lady. Good morning, my assistant wife. You truly have gone up. I mean, look at your room. See now the reason why women should actually thank God for creating them as women. See what that thing every woman carries has brought you. Hmm? Does Miranda now feel that she is too big to talk to me just because she's eating off the leftovers of her husband I enjoyed when he was young? No, my lady. Stop calling me your lady. When you were creeping into bed with my husband. You did not remember that you were stealing from your lady. He's a lovely little boy. May I carry him? done well for yourself. Taking her food to her. In her room? Yes, ma'am. Oh, come on, call her. She's part of us now. Shouldn't that be so, my lord? She should dine with us. Go and call her. Yes, my lady. How time proves us right. I remember that not too long ago, you were telling me about dreams. How servants dream of nobility and work themselves into the noble class. Miranda has worked herself into nobility. Nobility and riches go only to those that Almighty God has destined them for. You sent for me, my lady. Yes, Miranda. Sit down and dine with us. You are part of force now. Stop segregating yourself. It's not good. Does my lord approve? Miranda, sit down and eat with us. You're a member of this family now, okay? Thank you, my lord. Thank you, my lady. Miranda, where is the baby? He's sleeping, my lord. I keep telling Miranda to stop this my lord 
my lady thing. But she's so used to it. I guess you'll stop it with time, my dear. You always be my lady. And it does not hurt me to address you respectfully and properly. to see you because I was very still uncomfortable with Lolo at the Iwe's place. But right now, things are much settled. So I have to beg uh, Joseph, the driver, and the steward to bring me to see you. I know. You know now. I know. So, mother, how are things with you? Fine. Eh? Iwe has fulfilled his promise. Ah. Do you know that they are now clearing the land to build a house for me ah. and my husband? Hey, that's hey. good. Hey. That's where my husband has gone. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, I bought things for the baby. There is napkin, pampas, milk, everything the baby needs now. This is my only two of saying thank you. All this for me. Thank you. All this for my baby. Ah, it's for you. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. My thank God will bless you. Bless you too. Bless thank you, you too. very much. Ah, uh -huh, you said you were still doing well. It's a miracle. She now pets me. Huh? Cares for me, carries the baby. <laughs> Things has really changed. She's very kind to us now. Oh, where is <laughs> that? Thanks. Thank you, Jesus. It's been. You see, mm. you still have to pray. You have to pray for everything. I will. I pray as well. And I will pray more now. My dear, take this. Let me make it for you. Ah, no, now, eh? No, don't worry. We'll soon be on our Let me get food for hey, you. No, mother. Hey, no, the car we came in. Where is my mother? You mean that you don't want me to get Hey, Biko, hey, next time, mother. Hey. Biko, next time. Hmm? Okay. Hey, Biko. God will bless you. You are so God will bless you and the child. God bless you every time. Oh. 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 Bye, bye. Bye, bye. So, greet Uncle for me. Greet everybody for me. Greet everybody for me. Send me like to everybody for me. Bye-bye. Dorinda, so it has come to you, commandeering my car and conniving with this fool to drive you around town while I sit around waiting to use my car. My prince, before I went away the car, I took permission from the Igwe and he said I should use it. That's bullshit! This is my car, okay? If my father wants to exhibit his love for you, he can do so with any of his cars, not mine. Don't use my car again. Morris! Yes, Mom. Morris, are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? How can you scream at the mother of your father's son like that? Your own half-brother! Have you no respect for the Igwe, your father? Mom, they have kept me grounded at home for over an hour while I was waiting to use my car. Why couldn't you use another car? Look at their cars everywhere. Cars! What 
did you use another car? Mom. Mom, Mom are you supporting her? Don't mind him, my dear. Hmm? Don't mind him. You and Joseph should go in. Take the baby. The sun is too hot, okay? Give me my car keys. Please don't mind him. Hmm? Morris, use another car. Get your baby out of my car. Excuse me. Morris! Look, don't listen to him. From today, this car is yours. I give it to you. Use it whenever you want to go out, day or night. I'm sorry. It's yours. Hmm? Morris. Ajifo, My lady. I have chosen you for this job because of your loyalty to my son. You did not betray him like that useless Iluma. This job is also for my son's benefit, but he doesn't know about it just yet. He will know, but that is when everything is over. Is it not just to sneak into your compound, find a car, and walk on the front tire boots? Just that. The rest is natural. Okay. This is for you. That is 20,000 Naira. It's by a extra little job like this that I keep my body and soul together. How much does the carpentry work fetch me? May I life belong, my lady? Good. Come this night. I will go now. I will make sure that the gate is unlocked for you. You come in quietly. Do what you have to do and leave gently. Do not let your right hand know what your left is doing. My dear, are you ready to go to the market now? Yes, my lady. Um, my lady, I want to ask you if Joseph can take me in the car. Why? Because Morris frowns and shouts anytime you want to use the car. Oh, come on. I permit you. Use the car anytime you want. In fact, that car is yours. I give it to you permanently. Morris or no Morris, okay? Thank you, my lady. May God reward you. No problem. I hope you'll be taking baby with you. Yes, my baby. Mm, lovely, lovely, lovely baby. Lovely. All right. Hurry up now so that you can come back on time. Yes, my baby. Thank you.
And where do you think you're going with my car? My prince, he's taking us to the market. As what? Huh? Who are you to be chauffeur driving around town? You're just a common concubine. Look at you, you're not even a proper second wife yet. But my lady said we can go with the car. You tell your lady that I said no way! If everybody else in this house has gone soft, I have not! Get your baby out of my car. I want to use the car now. Give me my car keys. Give me. Excuse me.
met his untimely death yesterday while he was driving out. That is why I have summoned you and Din Zenoza, you my chiefs. God forbid. Just like that, Maurice that I saw yesterday is no more. Igwe, it is sad to bury our children. It is our children who should bury us. There is no smoke without fire. There are traditional methods to get to the root of this matter. Bam! Igwe, we shall go for you. There are strong seers in our village. And a visit to them will reveal to us how water entered into the uh, stem of a, a pumpkin leaf. Yes. No way. Uh -uh. Ordinarily, I will tell you that I do not believe in fetish practices, given the academic background that I have. But my people, Please go for me. Find the truth for me. Yes, and by tomorrow, or this time, let us gather here again. Igwe. My only child is dead. My heart breaks. But Igwe, still I will not resort to pagan native doctors to seek the cause of his death. I mean, it is barbaric. It is primitive. How can you even think of supporting such a thing? My dear, strange happenings call for strange approaches. Yes, the circumstances surrounding my son's death are strange. I want to know whether my enemies have a hand in it or not. But Igwe, what is strange about a car crash? It happens every day. Igwe, please, let us mourn our son quietly and not increase our sorrow by elaborating on his death. No matter the level of my education, I am a true African and I must get to the roots of my son's death. Whether you support me or not, let me remind you that our son Morris is a prince and he cannot be buried until the true cause of his death is ascertained. Tomorrow, the truth shall be known.
This is not a time for greetings. Get your motorcycle key and drop me off fast at the motor park. This night? Are there no night buses to Lagos? I need to be on tomorrow night's flight to New York. Why, my lady? Nobody said you and I knows that it was our mistake that killed the prince. They are consulting a native doctor. By tomorrow evening, they will know. By that time, I intend to be boarding my flight to New York. I need to go somewhere far, far away from this shame and disgrace to mourn my son. In that case, my lady, I'm too, I'm not safe. You have to give me some money. I will follow you to Lagos this night. From there to Tukutunu. If not, I'm a dead man. I can even abandon my back. It's all right, it's all right. Let's get your motorcycle, okay? Let's get out of here. another tragedy. Ogiriwa? Yes. My wife, Esther, has vanished from this house. Yes. I woke up this morning and I did not see her by my side. She was not kidnapped. No, because her little traveling bag is gone. So also, a large sum of foreign currency that was hidden in our bedroom. My people, I'm getting more and more confused. Even Ajofo, the carpenter, has also vanished from the village. Who is that? What has that got to do with the... Don't cut the yarn from the middle. Let us take the issue one by one from the beginning. He said, Thomas, over to you. <coughs> if we, we have made our findings, we met four native doctors and arrived at the same result. Mm -hmm. Igwe, Maurice was killed by mistake. mistake. Mm -hmm. The death that killed him was meant for Mirinda and her son killed. Morris was killed? Yes, Igwe. Even Morris, God rest his soul, is not innocent in this matter. He was the one who first introduced her Jofo to Lord Leicester when he paid her Jofo to find and kill Miranda. That first time she ran away. Uh, but God used the rumor to save Miranda's life. Since then, Maurice has wished Miranda and her baby nothing but death. Yes. So, Igwe, there you are. The death that killed Olobo's uh, kitty is from the mother, Pussycat. Igwe, come on. Igwe, come on. Igwe, come on. Igwe,
my lord. Miranda. God saved your life. And he also saved the life of our son. I beg you not to go away, as you said. Please stay here. Let my son grow up in his father's house. For how long, my lord? Forever. No, my lord. Take me to my lady's shoes. Don't ever mention that woman's name in my presence again. The woman who planned to kill other people, the woman who killed her only son, deserves her memory to be wiped. Yes. If I forgot to judge my Lord, I do not hate her. Sit down. It's only you and I now that are left. This is not the time to discuss how to say goodbye. You belong to me for this lifetime. I just want you to accept and marry me. I'll be the father that you never had and the husband that you dream of. Please. No. 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 Miranda. She has no place anymore by my side. No. Please. Give me the baby. Even grown yet. No, my lord. I'm going to drop my things. We shall say goodbye. Another lifetime. Another lifetime. 